Hi, everybody. Welcome back. It's me again. In case you missed the guided virtual tour, I'm Katie. I'm an international admissions and recruitment officer here at Carleton. And I'm joined today by my colleague, Tati. Uh, she's a student here at Carleton. So um, thank you so much for being here with us today. She's going to yes. answer some questions. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm really glad you're here because today's event, as I mentioned, about hearing from student voices. So you're going to be in the discussion feed for anyone who has questions and definitely be sure to ask about her experience. This is a great opportunity to hear directly from a current student. Um, so for the next 20 minutes, I'm going to take you through a session that I'm super excited about because it's all about the top picks in Ottawa, the city where Carleton is located. And these are picks for students by, um, by students. So these picks have come from current Carleton students as well as people like myself and my colleagues who are from Ottawa, but are also former students of the university. So let's just go ahead and get started. First, I just want to give you a little bit of an introduction to the city of Ottawa. So we are the capital of Canada. So that means there's some really unique opportunities here, as well as some really unique attractions. And we'll definitely go through some of those today. It's not a massive city. It is the fourth largest city in Canada, but it has a population of about a million people. And a fun fact that I absolutely love that really showcases the diversity of our city and of course of Canada is that 25% of Ottawa residents were actually born outside of Canada. So we're super lucky to have a really diverse population here and it's a multilingual city. So you may have heard that French is widely spoken in Canada. That's especially true in the province of Quebec, which is just across the river from us. I can practically see it from the apartment that I'm in right now, no exaggeration. So many people who are in Ottawa um, have been long-term residents, will speak both English and French, but there's many other languages spoken, as I'm sure you can imagine, considering a quarter of our population was born outside of the country. And I always get a lot of questions about the weather. So something I'm really going to highlight today is the fact that we have four distinct seasons. So as I kind of walk you through uh, what your first year in Ottawa might look like and all the activities you can partake in, I'm going to do that by season. And I'm going to start with fall because this is, of course, when you would be typically arriving at Carleton. If you have an offer of admission for this year, you would be joining us in September. So let's start here with fall. And for each season, I'm going to talk through a Carleton event, a seasonal activity, an outdoor activity, and some food, of course, very important. Um, Ottawa has some very distinct foods here available. So I'm going to talk through each of those categories for each season and give you some ideas of what the city has to offer. So for fall, the event I want to highlight is orientation. Now, as a former student of Carleton, I have some awesome memories of my four years at the university. But even though it was the first week of my first year and it's the furthest memory back from my beginning of studying at Carleton, this is one of my fondest memories because I didn't know anybody when I came to university. All of my friends went to other schools, so I was really nervous. But the friends that I met in orientation were the friends I had all throughout university and still have to this day. So if you don't know anyone and you're feeling a little nervous, rest assured that as I was in your shoes and it was so worthwhile to go, I felt comfortable as soon as I arrived and it really set me up for success in the transition to university. Now, something seasonal that you can do in fall is go apple picking. I absolutely love doing this. Um, just be careful that you don't end up with way too many apples because I can't tell you how many pies I had to bake. But this is a really fun outdoor activity to do in the fall. The air is nice and crisp, so it's a great time to be outdoors. And an awesome activity that you can do at any time of year, but it's especially beautiful in fall, is hiking in Gatineau Park. And that's just over the border, again, in that province of Quebec I was talking about. And hiking in Gatineau Park in the fall is amazing because all of the leaves change color. So you'll see really bright oranges, reds, yellows. It's absolutely beautiful. Also a great photo opportunity. 
and for food during the fall. We have an annual festival, the Ottawa Wine and Food Festival. That really speaks for itself. If you're like me and you love wine and cheese, you can visit this festival and it's represented, um, or sorry, restaurants are represented from all over the city. So it's a great way to support local and also to find some restaurants that you might wanna go visit in the future. So you can do a little bit of sampling and see what's out there. So I just want to show you a few photos of what I was just talking about. Um, mainly what you're seeing here is the gorgeous leaves changing color, as I had mentioned. So you can see a view of a hike that you might be able to take. Um, so definitely fall is a great time to get outside and, of course, kick off your studies here at Carleton. Next up, we have winter. I feel like this is the season that everybody is afraid of, and I can kind of understand why. It definitely gets cold. It definitely gets snowy. But in case you don't already know, um, the great thing about our campus in the winter is that we have almost all of our buildings connected by heated underground tunnels. So certainly there will be snow, there will be cold, but if you like to travel underground and stay warm, you can access all of your classes, all of our services and facilities by staying warm underground and then coming back above ground when the snow melts. So definitely check out the tunnels. They also have some really cool artwork by students in them. So the Carleton event that you should consider attending during this season, the main one I would recommend is the Capital Hoops Classic. I mentioned in the guided virtual tour that Carleton has a champion basketball team. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, we have won the most national champions of any university men's basketball team in North America. So if you're like me and you don't even know the rules of basketball, it's still really, really fun to go to this event because it's kind of like a friendly rivalry event between Carleton University and another local university here in Ottawa. So the school spirit is amazing and based of our number of championships, you can pretty much rest assured that you'll be representing the winners, which is always a good feeling. For a seasonal event, I really recommend Winterlude Festival. I know it's going to be chilly outside, but it's so worth getting out there and going to this festival. There's so much cool stuff going on, some great treats to eat, music, and my personal favorite is the ice sculptures. You will not believe what some of our local artists can craft out of ice. It's truly amazing. Uh, so definitely check out that festival during the winter. And a quintessentially Canadian and more specifically Ottawa activity to do during the winter is skating on the Rideau Canal. This canal extends all the way to our campus, as you may have seen in the guided virtual tour. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and when it freezes over in the winter, it becomes the world's largest skating rink. So this is an activity you just absolutely must do. Everybody in Ottawa will likely recommend it to you, and you'll even see people downtown skating to work. That's how deeply ingrained it is in the culture of our city to go skating on this canal. And the food kind of ties in with that activity. So the food I recommend for winter is actually something that you can grab while you're skating on the canal. So in the photo on your screen right now, you might see some little huts, and those are little places where you can grab hot chocolate, but also this treat that I'm talking about. Don't worry, it is not the actual tail of a beaver. It's actually a pastry and it's stretched out dough and fried and you can get all kinds of different toppings on it. My personal favorite is cinnamon, sugar and lemon, but there's ones that have chocolate on them. There's more savory ones with cheese. So you cannot live in Ottawa without eating a beaver tail. So here's some photos again of what I was just talking about. In the bottom left-hand corner, you can see one of those ice sculptures I was mentioning from Winterlude. Just amazing. I don't know how they do it. Uh, in the middle, we see a photo of the Capitol Hoops Classic. So you can see the turnout. It's such an electric event. You can really feel the energy. And then in the top right corner, you see a photo of a beaver tail. Of course, the chocolate variety that I mentioned, which I think is a fan favorite. And then in the bottom right hand corner, some students, they're actually on campus and you can see they're strapping on their skates to go skating on the canal. So technically speaking, if you were feeling ambitious, you could skate from our campus all the way to downtown Ottawa. And that would be a very impressive feat. Now we're moving on to spring. So this is the season we're currently in. My personal favorite, uh, the flowers start to bloom again, the snow starts to melt, and it's very refreshing. So the Carleton event I would recommend that you attend during this season is a career fair put on by our careers office. Because generally speaking, your study permit will likely allow you 
to work part-time while you're studying, but full-time during the summers. So you may be interested in getting a job during the summer to keep you busy since you'll have some time off from school and also to help you earn a little bit of money or maybe even gain some experience that's relevant to the industry you want to work in in the future. So attending the career fair is such a great way to prepare yourself for looking for a job. You can connect with some employers and you can do that right on campus. Very convenient for you. Uh, seasonal activities I'd recommend, the Tulip Festival. I'm so looking forward to this. Um, I did not study history, so I won't pretend to know all the historical components of how the Tulip Festival came to be. But what I will say is that it's essentially a celebration of Canada's bond with the Netherlands. So. It's interesting if we have any students from the Netherlands here, you may know, know even more about it than I do, but it's exactly what it sounds like. There are just hundreds and hundreds of beautiful, colorful tulips planted around the city. And um, you can just take a walk, a stroll through on a nice sunny day, and it's absolutely beautiful. You could also visit a sugar shack. So of course you may have heard maple syrup, very popular in Canada. Um, so that's a very sweet treat that you can put on your pancakes or whatever it may be. And if you visit a sugar shack, you can actually see how maple syrup is made from the beginning point when they extract the sap out of the tree and boil it down, to make it all delicious. And then you can taste the freshest maple syrup around right there. An activity I recommend if you like to get a little bit of exercise is there's yoga offered on Parliament Hill. So you can actually see Parliament Hill way in the distance in this photo, but of course it is the hill where our Parliament buildings sit on. So you have a beautiful historical building in the background and can do some nice stretching outside and get some fresh air. And the food I recommend, another quintessentially Canadian food is poutine. It's gonna sound a little weird when I describe it, but essentially it's French fries with cheese curds, which are little chunks of cheese and gravy poured over top so the cheese melts. Um, it's delicious, I promise you. So um, we love it so much here in Ottawa that we actually have a festival dedicated to it. If you go to Poutine Fest, you can try all different kinds like mac and cheese poutine, poutine with hot dogs, whatever it may be. Um, you'll find something that you're interested in at that festival if you are a foodie. So again, some photos, you can see yoga on Parliament Hill, a great turnout there, lots of people enjoying the warmer weather, uh, some beautiful tulips. In the center of our screen, we have some students who are actually attending that career fair I was speaking about. Uh, the top right hand corner is actually our campus. So as I was mentioning, we're surrounded by water and you can see this is taken from across the water from Vincent Massey Park, um, another beautiful spot for you to explore the outdoors. And in the bottom right hand corner, a visual of that weird but delicious food I was just telling you about Putin. Uh, so definitely try that out. And summer. I think it's safe to say that this would be a lot of people's favorite season. Um, so we're looking forward to it. It runs from June to September, and this is a time that you typically would not be in classes. Uh, so as I mentioned, you might consider getting a job during the summer, uh, but of course you want to enjoy your time in the city as well, and the weather becomes absolutely gorgeous in the summer. In fact, I think it's going to be very hot this year because I believe the forecast says it's going to be 24 degrees today and it's only the beginning of April. So I personally am feeling very optimistic about a beautiful summer here in Ottawa. So a Carleton event, um, this isn't necessarily an event, but it's a milestone absolutely worth mentioning is that this is the time that you would be registering for your fall classes. Um, so you definitely want to make sure that you have an understanding of what classes are required for you to take. You may also want to start considering what electives you would like to select. So electives are courses that you can choose based on your interest that may not necessarily be related to your degree program. Each degree program is unique, so it's good for you to start kind of considering these things in advance. And if you need support, it can be a little bit daunting, you know, the first one or two times you register, you can get that from our registrar's office. They'll give you the guidance that, they, that you need. They actually have registration assistants who are students, so they know exactly what the process is like firsthand, and they can guide you through it. Once you've got that out of the way, you've registered for your classes, it's time to have some fun. A uh, seasonal event I have to recommend is Ottawa Blues Fest. This is a musical music festival, and regardless of your music tastes, you will find something you're interested in. 
uh, we got some really big stars at this festival. So a few examples, uh, I'm gonna kind of go all over the map with them because I don't know what everyone's musical taste would be, but we've had the Red Hot Chili Peppers, we've had the Backstreet Boys, if you want a little throwback uh, to the 90s, and we also have had Kanye West big star. Uh, that was a few years ago. So uh, definitely keep an eye out for the lineup. They release it pretty early. Everybody gets really excited when the lineup gets released. And then you can grab your tickets. Um, if you're a big music fan, you can even get a full pass um, for the entire festival. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. That's one of the big events of the year in Ottawa. The activity is really close to campus, so you can easily walk here. Um, in fact, you can kind of see it from campus, and it's kayaking on Dow's Lake. So Dow's Lake is a body of water that borders our campus, and it's actually the photo that's on your screen right now. So you could walk out to the kayak rental place, and technically you could kayak back to campus. Of course, you will need to return the boat, uh, but it's a really fun activity, and it's a nice way to explore the city. You can go down little waterways, and if you've got a lot of upper body strength you can easily make it downtown and enjoy some of the sights from the water so i really recommend doing that and the food i recommend because like i said it gets really hot it's ice cream time um gelato in little italy so this is a neighborhood very close to campus as well uh very much worth checking out not just for ice cream but of course for coffee and pasta and lots of delicious treats and it's also just a really beautiful area. Um, there's one main street in Little Italy. It's called Preston Street. It's just up the road from where I am now. Um, so definitely take a little stroll down there, grab a bite to eat, maybe sit on a patio. And I'd like to show you again just a few photos of what I was talking about. So in the upper left hand corner there, you see Blues Fest. That's just one stage. There's lots of stages going at a time. It is a big festival. Um, in the middle, we've got some delicious gelato. Now, it's difficult to tell from the reviews online which gelato shop is the best, which just means that you have to try them all and then decide for yourself. Um, in the top right-hand corner, we have a photo of the Byward Market in summer. I know I didn't mention that as one of the activities, but it kind of goes without saying that you have to visit the Byward Market. It's in the heart of Ottawa, and in some ways it is the heart of Ottawa because there's a lot of local vendors here that you can shop from so you can support the local community and get some really nice treats. I was speaking about maple syrup earlier. There's lots of maple syrup vendors there, and they sell all kinds of variations like little candies, fresh out the bottle. Um, great place to buy gifts as well. And in the bottom right hand corner, just a photo of um, the waterways that run through the city as well. So um, like I said, you can explore those by kayak or you can also explore them by walking through the city as well. So Thank you very much for joining me for this session. I really hope this has kind of opened your eyes to um, get a sense of what's available to you in the city of Ottawa. Um, of course, there's a lot more to do than just study. So um, if you have any questions, you can always pop into the admissions Q&A uh, chat, but we do have another live session coming up. Of course, if you can't stay for the whole event, I would invite you and welcome you to contact me and you can find my information on the screen right now. But with that, I'd just like to say I really hope you all enjoy the rest of the event and I hope to chat with some of you in the Q&A booth. So have fun at the next session.